in Bohol and Cebu crumbled down to a 7.2 magnitude tremor, which also resulted to many casualties. Good evening. At least 93 people have been reported dead after a magnitude 7.2 earthquake hit the central Philippines. The quake happened at 8.12 a.m. on a national holiday. The U.S. Geological Survey said it struck below the island of Bohol, where officials reported most casualties. People were also killed in the province of Cebu. Historic churches were among the many damaged buildings, and stampedes were reported in two cities. At least 69 of those confirmed dead were from Bohol, 15 are known to have been killed in Cebu, and another was reported dead on the neighboring island of Siquijor. Dozens of others are also being treated for injuries. Search and rescue operations are being conducted, with rescuers finding themselves hampered by damaged roads. At least five people died when part of a fishing port collapsed in Cebu, and two others were also reported dead when a roof fell at a market. Three people also died during a stampede at a sports complex in Cebu, Provincial Disaster Chief Rail Villa said. I personally think, and I know a lot of people agree with me, that this certain reflex, people is definitely not appropriate because in a case of an earthquake, one should always stay calm and never panic. An official from the government agency which monitors earthquake activity was quoted as saying that this was the strongest tremor felt in the area in the last 23 years. That's all for today's news. I'm Jereen Castillo. Please stay tuned for more updates. OMG! I just realized that an earthquake can actually be real dangerous. I know, right, little sister? We'll never know when an earthquake will happen. So it's better for all of us to be prepared. Right, Dad? You're both correct, kids. Don't worry. Daddy knows just what to do. Hi, I'm Joe, and I'm here to present to you what to do before, during, and after an earthquake. To start off, I'm going to show you what to do before an earthquake strikes. First, you have to secure an emergency supply scheme. Some of the supplies may be found around your home, or you may have to purchase them at the store. Second, is to make a plan. Your family members may not be together when the plan for the disaster happens, so it is important to make a communications plan. Third, for the latest updates and relevant news regarding the earthquake. Don't panic. Because if you panic, you won't be able to do the three most important things during an earthquake. Drop, cover, and hold on. First thing you need to do when the shaking starts is drop to the ground. Even if you're just sitting on the couch watching your favorite TV show. Even if you're at your desk doing your math work, you should still drop to the ground. The next thing you have to do after you drop to the ground is to cover yourself with something. You can climb under the desk, maybe even under the dinner table. After you drop and cover, the next step is to hold on. Hold on? Shaga, you want to hold on sa mga relasyon? Hoy, what do you that? After you're under the desk, hold on. If you're under the table, hold on. No matter what you're climbing under, always remember to hold on. Now that you know what you do during an earthquake, let's go to what you should do after an earthquake. What should do these things after an earthquake? Stay away from damaged areas, follow emergency plans, check for injuries and provide first aid, and expect aftershocks. Expect? Hindi ka mag-expect? Good luck na mag-asa sa wala, masakit, dahil ka lang na. Eh, di, napakamadwa sa mga hugot niya ha? And remember, earthquakes do happen, so always be ready. This earthquake safety reminder is brought to you by Joel Su. Oh dad, this is amazing! I didn't know you were that good at dealing with disasters. Yeah dad, you could be a drawing teacher dad like Mr. Anthony Galeano. He's totally awesome! Nah, I'm totally fine with having you to adorable kids. Oh! And, and remember, when it comes to dealing with disasters, be informed, make, make a plan, and be prepared. prepared.
Uh, the earthquake happened last 2012 or 2013, I'm not sure, but I was in grade 7 and me and my friends were playing badminton in this auditorium and then when the earthquake started, uh, of course, first thing we had to do was try to, but we, we, we thought we panicked, but then uh, the teachers and the old people around, of course, uh, helped us you know, fall in line and I, and I think the first thing we had to do was go outdoors. <laughs>